Hi, this is Joy at Red Pine Quilt Shop. Today we are talking about fabric marking pens. I'm gonna walk you through my favorite fabric marking pens and what I use them for and why I have the various ones that I have. So we're gonna start with the first pen. It is the only pen that I use that is actually a permanent pen. And it is a Micron Pigma marker. I like the size five and the size eight. And I have these in a variety of different colors. I use them for writing on quilt labels. They are great if you are doing some type of a memory quilt. Maybe you have um, something, a quilt that you've made for a wedding or an anniversary and you want people to be able to sign it and write a message. You wanna use a Micron pen for that so that you have a permanent marking on your quilt that won't come out, won't bleed, won't wash out. And that is the pen to use for that. I'm going to show you what this one looks like so you can see the thickness of the lines. That is the 0 0.08 and I like that line. I think it's easy to read if you write on a quilt label with it. The next pens, set of pens that I'm going to show you are the friction markers. Now this is a marker that is a heat erase marker and it is one that I have in a variety of colors because depending on the fabric that I'm working on, um, sometimes a color or another color will show up better. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the friction markers is there is always a residue that is left behind with these. Um, so I never use friction markers to mark on the front of my quilt. Um, if you have a quilt you've used friction on, toss it in the freezer, pull it back out, and you're gonna see that your markings have all come back. Um, so I restrict my use of friction to the back of the fabric. So if I'm marking a sewing line on the diagonal of a square or something like that on the back of the fabric, I will use it for that, but I don't use it on the front. They make a nice fine line they don't drag and stretch your fabric um, when you're marking on the bias and you can get really close to your ruler. So I like that part about them. Um, I like this particular size and it's the 07 size. They have various tip sizes, but the 07 is my favorite. And just for comparison to the Micron, you can see I've got a finer line here, um, but that's nice if you're trying to get close to a ruler um, when you're marking things. Um, and they are great pens. They will iron, they will, they will disappear when you iron them. Um, but keep in mind that residue is still there in the fabric. The other pens that I use for marking on fabric quite often are Soline pens. And these have a polyamide lead. It is the same lead in all four of these pens, but the lead sizes are different. So the Soline Trio pen has three different colors of lead in it. The BL is the black, the PI is the pink, and the WH is the white. And wherever you rotate the pen clip to is where you will, um, is the color, color lead that you will get when you when you go ahead and extend it from the pen. So I had it on the PI, so when I did this, I got pink, and this is what that pink lead looks like, and I just broke it. We'll try that again. That is what the pink lead looks like. Now, that is a thinner lead than what you're going to see in the next Soline pen that I show you. This Soline pencil has a thicker lead, so if you like a more definite line, you will get a more definite wider line with the additional Soline pens. So if I need a fine line, I use my Trio. If I can have a little heavier line that's a little bit easier to see, then I will go to these three Soline pens. And I have these in blue, pink, and white again, so they will show up on various colors of fabric. Now these are polyamide lads. Um, they will erase out. In fact, the Trio pencil actually has an eraser underneath the cap, um, so they will erase out. They will also come out with water. So that is the other option for um, removing those polyamide leads. They're a nice lead and they go on smoothly. The next tool that I will show you is another pen that will disappear with water. This is a water soluble pen. And this is the Mark Begone pen 
from Dritz. I use this all the time. This is probably my favorite tool for marking a quilting designer motif on a quilt. I like this pen I've, and I've had really good luck with it always coming out. So I use these when I'm doing an embroidery block um, and I need to mark a crosshair so I can get it centered in my hoop. Um, I use it for marking quilting designs or just even tick marks that I'm going to use for an alignment when I'm doing free motion quilting. Now you'll notice that made a broader line so that is one thing to keep in mind with the mark be gone. And that is also a washout pen. So one thing to keep in mind with all of your products. Um, if you have a pen that's supposed to air erase, if you have a pen that's supposed to wash out, um, you want to be careful to not iron those products unless you've tested first to make sure that they still come out after ironing. Because if you iron some of the products that should air erase, wash out, etc., um, you may heat set that product. So always test on scrap fabric. Make sure you know if the pen that you're using is safe to be ironed or not. Um, I know I've had some people say that they've even had issues after having a quilt that they marked in a hot car and it got very hot um, in the summer and cars get over 100 degrees pretty quickly sometimes if they're out in the sun. Um, so keep that in mind to make sure that um, that removable pen is going to still remove if it gets gets hot either with an iron or in a hot car. So um, test first so you know and then you can be careful how you're using those products to make sure that they still do come out. The last product that I'm going to show you is another product that I use quite frequently for marking on the front of a quilt for marking quilting designs. And this is the Chaco Liner Pen from Clover. Again, I have three different colors because of marking on different color fabrics and needing it to show up. I'm going to go ahead and grab the pink one. And this has a little tiny wheel and it actually has a loose chalk in it. You can maybe see it rolling around in there and that little wheel will dispense it on the fabric. So if I do that, it will give me a nice fine line of chalk on my fabric. Um, these are great, as I said, for marking quilting designs. I use them quite often for that. The one thing to keep in mind with this product though is it is a loose chalk product and if you mark a large area and start moving that quilt around doing free motion quilting you may find that it's rattling off. Um, it comes off quite easily. You can lots of times just brush it off but um, it will sometimes come off sooner than you'd like if you're moving the quilt around a lot um, because it is a loose chalk, it's sitting on the surface of the fabric and too much motion can actually shake it off the quilt. So those are the pens that I use. I have a variety of them um, because I pick the one that's the best suited for the task and hopefully kind of understanding the pros and cons of them will help you make good choices when you're picking fabric marking pens in the future. So thanks for joining us today. We have all of these items available on our website at redpinequiltshop.com. Take care. <music>